Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com and it's vi this video I will be showing you how to enable and use Diagnostic Data Viewer in Windows. Most time, we the system has uh, some logs that are sent to Microsoft and what are some of these logs or data? They are um, logs about the software installed your system, the hardware configuration, the drivers and how compatible all these things are on your system and most of these data are used by microsoft to improve on the operating system and sometimes you may want to view some of these data that is why we have this uh, diagnostic data viewer that comes in windows 10 and uh, windows 11 but you need to enable it on your system before you'll be able to use it so what you need to do is to go into the setting go into the setting open the settings when you open the set okay i've already opened these settings assume it's not yet open you to come to this page so just type diagnostic so when you type diagnostic you just click on it so when you click on it you need to scroll down to view diagnosis data here. I've already toggled this to on. Most time it's always off, so you have to toggle it to on. So you need to click on this open diagnostic data viewer. So when you click on this open diagnostic data viewer, it's not going to show this page directly. That's the first time. It's going to show the uh, Microsoft Store. I've already installed it. That's why it's is showing like this when it shows the Microsoft Store, it will show tell you to download and install. So you have to do that on this page. And when it's done, this button will now turn to open. So you need to click it. So when it when you click it, this diagnosis data viewer will show up. So these are the log or the data. That are being sent to Microsoft. You can as well filter it. You can see the data categories here browsing history, device connectivity and configuration, uh, product and service usage, software setup and inventory. So these are all the data that are being sent to Microsoft. All the events that are happening on your system. All these things are being used by Microsoft to improve the operating system which uh, we are using today so um you can as well export this data into a csv and you see you export data and you uh, name give it a file name and it will show as a csv so if you have already done one here let me just open it so it's going to come out come out like uh, this yes you can see the timestamp there you can see the full name of the particular section of uh, what is being captured on your system then this json captured the full data the full data that are being sent to microsoft so these are ways you can know what is being captured on your system using the diagnostic uh, viewer tool so i hope you enjoy this video and uh, really appreciate you for watching this so it's very very easy to enable and use this uh, diagnosis data viewer in Windows. Thank you for watching.